To create a new post in WordPress is quite easy. From the dashboard, come here to where it says Posts and click on the link. And then select Add New. And it opens up this page here that says Add a New Post. And let's enter the title here and let's call this All About Sam. and then I can import some information or I can simply just type it in. So let's just type it in here. My name is Sam. There are some other things that you can do here. You can use an HTML editor if you're familiar with HTML codes and so on. And there are some other things as well. For example, you can add a link like there if you want to add a link into the uh, you know another web page or something like that, or you can simply type it here in real time. You can do a spell check if you wish. There's also this feature here which they call the kitchen sink, which when you click on it, you have other things here. You can format the text as a paragraph or heading or so on. You can change the text color. Uh, you can import plain text or you can import from a Word file and you can remove the formatting as well and so on. You can also change the format for the post by selecting one of the radio buttons here. I'm going to leave it as a standard post for this demonstration. And then you can preview what it'll look like by clicking here on this button here. and you can see here we've got the post there I just close the tab here if you start writing your blog post and you get interrupted or you want to have it time stamped at a different time what you can do is save it as a draft and then come back to it later but if you're ready to go you just click here where it says publish And there we go, your blog post is now published. And you can then see it by clicking here on View Post. And there we go, it opens it up. Now, if you saw the permalinks video, you'll notice that I changed the permalink structure. And you can see here what it looks like that now this blog post is called All About Sam and you can see that that phrase actually shows up as part of the site's URL. And if I scroll down a bit here, you can see, there we go, there's the post, and it's all ready to go. Another way of adding a post into your blog is by using the quick press window that you see here. And this is best if you just want to put a few lines into your blog and there's nothing too complicated that you're going to put in. Very simple to do. Simply type in your title. Let's call this Quick Press Demo. And then you can insert your content, either copy or paste it or just type it in. And if you want, you can insert an image or a video or audio or other types of media. You can add your tags, which can be your keywords so that the search engines can find it easily. So let's call this Quick Press and then a comma to separate the two tags. And let's say this is a video demonstration. And then you can just simply click here on Publish. And there you go. And click here to view it. And hey presto, you can see, there we go. 
it's all installed there you can see it says here quick press demo 